I feel you. I feel you. If <laughs> anybody feel you, I'm like. <laughs> I feel you. I don't think y'all paying attention. I'm like, mm. I feel you. I know what I can't wrap my head around. Okay. For sure, for sure. Okay. For sure, for sure you're right. Okay. For, sh- for sure you're right. Mm. What? Well, that's what Keith Lee be doing, right? No, he, he, for sure you're right. Love him. <laughs> I love him. Like, <laughs> for sure his, you're right. Mm. I catch myself doing this all day. <laughs> Didn't he say like he was like he gets nervous or something? That's why he sits like that or something like that. I just adore him. Yeah. He's just so adorable. Yeah, I love that for him. Yeah, I <laughs> really do. Like for sure, you're right. He is so cute. That is so adorable. Oh my god, I feel like he's gonna put out a book next. I wouldn't be shocked. Okay. I ain't gonna say too much yet, but uh, oh, hit me up, Keith Lee. All right, <laughs> just saying. <laughs> Mm-hmm. <laughs> I can see it right now. <laughs> right on the cover, like this. <laughs> with, with the pasta hands. <laughs> I sent my book over to Sierra Triple. And uh, <laughs> I sent my book over to Sierra Triple. <laughs> she emailed me. I asked her to review it. So let's get into it. Bro, I would be fucking. I would die. You hear me? And I'd be like, it's recipes, nigga. But this book is hitting. <laughs> The book is hitting. They every recipe hits my nigga. <laughs> I be in there cooking them, like, bro, bro. That is so. That would be so freaking cute. I love it. I love it. Let's do it. All right, let's jump to the show. Let's mm-hmm. get started. Mm. We sound funny. Who we got to lose? Yeah, we need these goddamn um, peppermints. They be all right. Hey guys. Hey everyone. What's happening? What's popping? I'm your girl Sierra T. And I'm your girl Sherelle B. And Why am I yelling? I don't know, because you was like hitting Sorry, me. my bad. Anyway, um, welcome to Head Reps and Listeners to Podcast. We wrap the culture up in color. Yes, ma'am. Mm-hmm. Episode 15. Yeah. Yep. Let's go with it. Yep. If not, oh well. Yeah. <laughs> Listen, today's ep- list is going to be very short. We don't have that much today, you know? Yes, yeah, it's, it's not heavy. It's not heavy. We just don't have a lot, which means that next week probably going to be stupid crazy. Heavy, baby. Hey. You, you guys so are heavy on me. Yeah, yeah. Heavy, heavy. You guys so heavy on me. <laughs> yes. Sorry. <laughs> Give them a little dream girls. Listen. Have you ever seen Dreamgirls? Mm. I never saw the original one. Oh, me neither. Well, I, th- I think my parents saw it on, like on Broadway. Oh, snap. For I real? do. I think so. I think I think so. The clip of um the original Jennifer singing it was on my TikTok mm. the other day. And I was like, oh, sis was. Listen. The rent was due. Lights was off. The fridge was empty. You hear me? Random. But mm. I saw that Jennifer Hudson was talking about doing a versus. She'd be down to do a versus with Fantasia. Fantasia. It ain't going to be nothing but a whole bunch of yelling. Don't do this. Don't do don't don't do this. What you mean? Because I know what you. I feel like I know what you about to say. Don't do this. Don't Fantasia this. will wipe the floor with Jennifer Hudson. Like, well, still, I don't like. She will. <laughs> no, no, no. Fantasia will wipe the, will wipe the floor. I don't want. I don't. Please don't do this. Are you serious? Right I, now? I really, I really don't want to do this. You right dead now. ass think that Jennifer Hudson can battle Fantasia? And we're talking in a versus, in a versus like. The session, the, the set will be short for Jennifer Hudson. Listen, all Jennifer Hudson got to do is sing some choreography from Dream Girls. But we, no, or some songs no, from, no. I mean, that's her voice. I understand that, but like Fantasia got like the hits is hitting itself. I'm sorry. Like, yes, we understand Jennifer Hudson got the E got. We not. She do. We're proud of sis. Oh, we, definitely. We're proud of sis. But when it comes to verses, I think she just needs to just. And listen, I love Fantasia. I do. I like them both. That set will be very short. I like <laughs> for Je- for Jennifer yo, Hudson. Yo, you're wild. It will, will. Will it be long for Fantasia? I it never will, seen Fantasia in concert. It will be longer. <laughs> it will be longer. Than it, will, <laughs> it will definitely be. I saw that. I was like, hmm. I'm screaming. And I was like, I don't know. <laughs> I'm screaming. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. I would be here for both of them, but it's just like <gasps> I'm weak, bro. Fantasia, you know what I'm saying? I just, love it. Just saying. I love it. <laughs> I love it. Mm. All right, y'all. Like I said, we don't have that much of a list, but um, we're going to go ahead and get into the show. Yep. Sis, 
What can't you wrap your head around? Okay. I cannot wrap my head around. Like, nothing is good for us anymore. <laughs> mm -hmm. Like, we can't eat anything. I saw a report that came through, and I got very upset. Hold on one second. Okay, okay. Because I was like, are we dead ass right now? Like, what what, what, what can we eat? Mm -hmm. that, that's what I need to know. Right. So, the world... The World Health Organization. Ah, the good old World Health Organization, yes. Saying people who are trying to lose weight should avoid using zero-calorie non-sugar sweeteners. Yeah, because it has stevia or some, some other... It has a, another artificial sweetener that's not good for you. So I can't... Sherelle's, be, Sherelle's upset. I am. because So, you, so <laughs> I can't have sugar. Don't have sugar because <laughs> diabetes. Don't have sugar. I can't you What... Can I use here? Like, this is my thing. Like, you're not supposed to eat regular food, so then we go vegan. Mm -hmm. Then they say vegan food's not the best food because what is it? What are those? We don't know what that is. They say if you're a vegetarian or a pescatarian, you're lacking certain nutrients. Yes. Listen, the ideal diet or whatever is supposed to include everything. So when a lot of people are like... Oh, I'm doing keto. They're not doing. They're not eating enough carbs. Like carbs give you like energy and other nutrients and things like that. Oh. See, I thought carbs were bad for you because they make you fat. No, you need you need everything. You need carbs. You need you need your fatty, your healthy fats. You need your you need your meat. Your your meat your meat includes a lot of iron. So you might come in like to like you might come into like a lot of vegans or whatnot or vegetarians who have to like make up for for their their lack of iron through different iron supplements or you mm. know like so like certain everything has a there's a reasoning for the seasoning okay <laughs> basically is what i'm trying to say like the ideal diet for real for real is everything with but within moderation when it comes to meat so i feel like when it comes to like meat mm -hmm. and nutrients that only is like beef and like chicken like what nutrients am i getting from a pork chop you would be surprised. Hmm. If there's any nutrition, but you, I mean, I don't think pork is at the top of the list. But like, right. you, but like, like fish, you can get omega. I love it. omega threes or child. I don't know. Science, yeah. science ain't my thing. But I know that they like they're important parts of the like you know in each category. So mm. you know your vegetables, your fruits, your your carbs, starches, yeah. yada 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 yada. So a, a, an actual good diet includes all of those things, but in moderation. Hmm. So yeah. I just, I can't wrap my head around it. I just don't know what I can eat anymore. And it's frustrating. I'm like, when I saw that, I was like, are you dead ass right now? Mm-hmm. Listen, dieting is, uh, y'all gonna be mad at me, but dieting is um based on white supremacy. Mm. And I'll leave that there. Yeah, I agree. <laughs> I agree. Mm -hmm. Like, no, I'm just like, I mean, I, I'm not using zero calorie sugar. Like, I want the sugar. There's sugar in my coffee. Put that Actually, in my <laughs> No sugar. I just use creamer. Mm -hmm. and that's, that's where I, you know what I'm saying? But- I was just like, well, damn. So, if you're not trying to use sugar, like, raw organic honey from yes. your local source is good for you, too. Mm -hmm. I heard it. Naomi told me that it actually helps you with your allergies. Oh. It, yeah. You know what? My aunt told me that, like, when it comes to coffee, she was like, I had a bad cough, and she was like, take a tablespoon of honey and just mm -hmm. eat it. I was mm -hmm. like. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I, I can't I can't raw dog the honey either, but. But it worked. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And it made me think, because, like. I, I hate Robitussin. Like, my mom's been fighting me really? to take Robitussin. My mom literally had to force me at 30 to take Robitussin. I can't do Robitussin. Wow. But it makes sense because Robitussin came up with a new flavor. Like, it's honey now. Yeah. So I was like, huh, mm. that's the only Robitussin I will take. The other stuff is disgusting. I, I, will, I will take Robitussin all day long. Oh. I can't swallow pills. So if it comes oh. in a liquid form, I'm taking it. That's true. No, Theraflu over mm. here. I'm taking Theraflu. Oh, yeah. Theraflu is good. But the hot kind. There's a cold Theraflu? No, you know, like you have the syrup and then you have like the hot tea kind. Oh, there's a Theraflu syrup? Yeah. Really? Mm -hmm. Yeah, I just, I do the tea. Like sometimes I like, if mm -hmm. I need a really good night's sleep, yeah. I'm going to put some. Now come on. I <laughs> <laughs> Theraflu nights. I can't. I'm, I'm not, just... I'm not doing it. Listen, anyways, what can you Oh wreck my yet? God. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Um... I want people, you know, listen, when, when it's Mother's Day, leave me out of the conversation. That's what I can't wrap my head around. Okay. I understand that. Leave me out. I get it. I don't have no kids. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Stop asking me when I'm going to have kids. Oh. <laughs> Stop asking me when I'm going to have kids. Leave it alone. 
me and my uterus don't want no parts of this. Okay. We, you know, we, we free and clear. Like, leave me alone. I made a, I made a, a video on, on my uh, IG story saying, like, for me, when someone asks me, what are you going to have kids? They're right. really asking me why I have not had more unprotected sex. That's wow. what you're asking me. That's what you're asking me. <gasps> Oh. That's what. Listen, we we go to baby showers. We are celebrating them not having protective sex. This it is, is very. This true. is what. That's what it is. Like, this is very like true. we're like, yay! You didn't use the condom. This is very true. Congratulations. Respect. You know what I'm saying? So leave me, leave me alone. I feel you. <laughs> leave me alone. I feel that. You know what I'm saying? I feel that. L- l- and, and also, just in general, stop asking women when they're going to have kids. You never know what's going on with a woman's uterus. They might not be able to have kids. They may have several miscarriages. You never know. And that's very insensitive. And some people aren't like me because then I'm, I might just lie. Like, I, actually, I'm sterile. So now we're all uncomfortable in this conversation. Did right. you want to know so bad? Like, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, stop asking women that weird ass weird. It's weird. The government's already trying to police our bodies. We don't need just <sighs> random people like off the off the internet on the street. Hey, when you have some, when you have a little couple of CCs, right? How you don't know already got kids? Exactly. Like, please. <laughs> I mean, I had I had a few people say Happy Mother's. I was walking in the morning, be like Happy Mother's Day. I was like, Oh, thank you. I just say thank you. That's fine because all these bitches is my sons anyway. So um, come on, Nikki. You know yeah. what I'm saying? Yeah. Yeah. Absolutely. So that's just all I. That's Absolutely. really my response to that. Like, oh my god! When I used to work at Best Buy, I got into an argument about a guy on Mother's Day. <laughs> on Mother's Day, <laughs> I had to be like 16 years old, and a guy is buying something, and he's like, "Happy Mother's Day!" And I'm like, "Oh, I'm not a mother." And he's like, "Look, just say thank you." No, Nick. Yes, he did. And I was like, "But I'm not a mother." He's like, "Listen, you're gonna be a mother in the future, probably." You don't know that. Like, I was like, I was like, what is going on right now? In Best Buy, I'm like, yeah, but I'm not. I don't have no kids right now, though. Can you just check out and mind your business? <sighs> like, not me arguing. I'm like 16, 17, <sighs> arguing with this clown in Best Buy. I'm so mad I wasn't there because I would have been the person behind. Like, can you just check out and leave her alone? He was the only sir? person in line at the time. Too. Oh, I hate that. Oh my god. So mind yeah. Your- in business yes indeed mind your goddamn business and i wonder like do you say that to guys on father's day happy father's day like maybe we should start gaslighting men who don't have kids i'm with it i'm down nah, look, every dude i see on father's day happy father's day happy father's day to you yep okay yeah i, I like it all right i like it let's do it because y'all just let's, don't know how to mind your business let's do it <laughs> <laughs> mm, love gaslighting Okay. All right, sis. You ready to jump into the show? Yeah. I mean, since we're talking about policing bodies, uh-huh. uh, we might as well talk about um, this new... This is Yeah, we're doing this. Yeah, this is it today. We're going to talk about North Carolina. You're up next. And oh. I think we talked about this maybe like two weeks ago. We said mm-hmm. that like we're wondering what the next state is going to be. And unfortunately, Jesus we manifested that over here. We sure did. Um, in North Carolina. So North Carolina literally this, like, two weeks ago... Mm -hmm. Um, started to pass one of the most um, aggressive Mm. abortion Uh, restrictions on the East Coast. Um, It was a lot going on. It's too much. It really was a lot. So, I mean, there's a lot of updates, and we'll probably be able to give you a little bit more next week. Did Mm. my bun just come out? Yes, it did. Um, (laughs) So, okay. So, I'm just going to read what's going on here. So, basically... (sighs) All right. So... This restriction, hold on, let me just make sure that I can, I just want to make sure. Okay. So this is a new bill that they passed. Senate Bill 20 bans most abortions after 12 weeks of pregnancy with the exceptions for cases of rapes, of rape, fetal abnormalities uh-huh. and the life of the mother. While abortions before 12 weeks will remain legal, patients would face additional hurdles. The bill requires in-person doctor visits for patients seeking medica- medication abortions and mandates that a doctor must be present when abortion medication is administered. Uh, yeah. So like plan B's and stuff? That's what I'm thinking. So then that would mean that you can no longer buy plan B's over the, over the counter. It adds new informed consent requirements and increases licensing requirements and regulatory fees for abortion providers. Great. Well, not great, but you know what I mean. So then Governor Cooper was like, okay, like he was over there just mm-hmm. basically waiting to cut. Like, I'm just going to veto the hell out of this. So Period. Y'all. Period. So he gets to my desk, like, I'm just going to veto it um, like immediately. Period. However, 
Um, North Carolina, you know, we kind of have a Republican filled um, house. There's a lot of things going on. Um, and just like we kind of anticipated, what they decided to do is they actually, um, even though he vetoed it, the North Carolina Senate, <clears throat> Senate voted 30 to 20 to actually override Governor Cooper's veto of the abortion bill. <sighs> yeah, there's a lot happening, okay? Um, so we just kind of wanted to make you aware of what's going on, North Carolina listeners, or just advocates of women's rights. Yeah. Um, there's going to be a lot going on here because currently, like as we're recording, the North Carolina House is doing another vote. So I don't know. Maybe we'll see something else happen next week. But just kind of pay attention to what's going on, mm -hmm. um, you know, on the East Coast. We know Texas is out of pocket. Georgia's out of pocket. Florida, they don't even have a pocket. Uh, <laughs> South Carolina. There's a hole in their pocket. Literally a big one. <laughs> big giant. And the now, South, there's a hole in the South Carolina pocket yeah. that represents the potholes on a uh, highway. Yeah. Yep. This is a, um, this is, this is, this is a mess. It is a mess. And I'm just like, this is so... This is so disgusting. I don't understand it. This is so, and so many terms. Sometimes I'm like, damn, it is kind of crazy that we do allow each state to govern itself. Mm. But also, I get why we allow the, each state to govern itself. But like, no, sometimes I don't know, sis. Like sometimes it's like I want to invo involve the Supreme Court, but shit, they not, they not on the sides of women either. So. At all. I uh, even some of the women sitting on the Supreme Court. Oh. Uh, yeah. Yeah. That's a mess. No, I, I kind of, I feel you like, you know, cause I mean, I guess there's a reason that they, you know, that the states have to govern themselves. Cause imagine one person being in charge of all 50, 50 states. Th that's, that's a, a mess. Lot. Yeah. That is a lot. That is a lot. But you know, it just, I swear every week it just goes back to the voting and just knowing who you're voting for. Like, I think a lot of our legislative lawmakers are sitting in office because we have not taken the time to educate ourselves, like, thoroughly on who we're voting for when we get into those booths. Absolutely. Absolutely. Okay, there's a, there's, there's a lot of times that we're just, like, looking and seeing. And even if, it, you know, if, even if you are voting Democrat versus Republican, there's some Republicans that are conservative that's like, okay, yeah, I'm conservative on a few things, but I understand that women have rights and blah, 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 blah. Mm -hmm. Then you have some Democrats that are like, yeah, I'm liberal, but yes, I don't really agree with interracial marriage like that. You know what's hard for me to wrap my head around because mm -hmm. I, I think I'm not like an extremist, but it's like sometimes, mm -hmm. <laughs> sometimes it's like, how are you? How are you? How is this your middle? Like, how is this your right. middle? You know what I'm saying? Like, what what is this issue? Like, why is this? How it? is this your middle? Like, this is your? You know what I'm saying? Yes, I do. I do. I totally understand. And this it's like. You you understand like you like you get that this mm -hmm. is like you're controlling you're trying to control women's bodies, and this is your middle ground. This is your like gray area. That's crazy. Yeah, I don't understand it. Because to me, it's either it's either black or white. Brandon and I had a very interesting conversation. Well, it's it's about another topic on our list, mm -hmm. but it's it. The way that people don't understand, you know, because of course it's like you know, well, men. I'm like. Y'all are nowhere near policed at, at all. As and I'm talking about not even like from a societal level mm. to government, mm. just in a cultural aspect. Yep. You know what I'm saying? If you have sex with one person, it's like, wow, you're so inexperienced. Blah blah. Mm. Why wow, you're so prude? Like, mm. oh, you're such a good girl. Da, 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 da. Yeah. You have sex with five niggas. Like, oh, you're a whore. Whore. Yes. Make it make sense. Yes. The math is not math then. The math is not mad. Then we got a y'all talking about we got a population, a population issue, and you don't know where you're gonna put people and stuff like that. But yet you're telling people, I'm sorry, you're telling women, yep, that if they don't want to bring another person into this world because my mental's not right, or I don't even have a place to live, or mm. I was raped and I don't want to be reminded of that assault mm. for the for the rest of my life, mm -hmm. not even just so you're 18 for the rest of my yep. life. And then you're telling me that I can't get rid of it. And then, not to mention that the government is not going to help you raise that damn baby. Because get your fucking ass up and work. Oh, especially if you're a black woman. Oh, my God. Because then if you're on welfare or you get government assistance or anything like that, like, oh, you're a bum. You made me have this kid. Yeah, you remember? So raise it. Right. You, you, this is your... Raise it. You know... <laughs> raise it. It probably wouldn't be as big of an issue if they were giving better benefits for children. For children. 
more women would want there are there mm. more women would probably want to have children if there were better benefits if the country was taking care of their if this particular country was taking care of their their people better right because even look at like just us regular day de- right we're not doing well at all. <laughs> we're not doing well at all at all but they don't see it that way if child care wasn't you know damn near four hundred dollars a week. I'm telling you, one of my friends told me how much. Um, I'm sorry, not even one of my friends. My sister and my mom told me how much it is at both of their uh, daycare centers for mm-hmm. an infant a week. I said, "Oh hell no, absolutely not." So, just kind of pay attention to what's going on. These abortion, um, these abortion laws across the country are not going to get any better. Um, I mean, there are a few states that maybe we might not, you know, be so worried about, like New York, California. Um, you know. Maryland, yeah. actually, well, we know Maryland is, is safe. You know, uh, their governor, Westmore, was like, Yeah, no, yeah, women do whatever the hell they want around here. I know that's right, it's not a problem. But for some of the other states, uh, the Midwest, the South, mm-hmm. um, Northeast, it might not be so easy. So just pay attention and again, make sure that we're coming up to an election year that you're paying attention to who you're voting for because that shit matters. Yes, it does. Pay attention to what they're what they're speaking on, look at the bills that they're supporting. Mm-hmm. They mm-hmm. might not, they might not have written it. Pay attention to who they're like, what bills they are supporting. Yeah, are they sponsoring? Like all those different things. So just please pay attention. Yep, that's yep. really it. Another thing that they have, I mean, they were policing it for a long time, and now they're not anymore. <laughs> mm-hmm. Is um, gay and bisexual men? Yes, specifically. Yes. So for many many years, gay and bisexual men were not able to donate blood. However, mm-hmm. a good thing, a good news is that they are now able to do so. So. Um, you know, the FDA is like, you know what? You know, there's a woman, you're talking about there's a blood shortage, but then you're telling people that you can't donate blood yep. because of who they're sleeping with. Disgusting. Crazy. Anyway, um, so <laughs> the FDA has definitely uh, paved the way for more gay and bisexual men to donate blood by finalizing new risk-based recommendation for blood donations. Going forward, prospective donors will be asked the same set of questions regardless of their sex or sexual orientation. Okay? I didn't realize... <clears throat> That there was a different set of questions for people who were like mm-hmm. gay or bisexual. You know when I like, I mean, I knew that, but then like when I was watching Pose, oh, yeah, they yeah, were yeah. asking, they were asking, That's remember, right. mm-hmm. you know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. They were asking Ricky and um, what was um, pray tell, Billy, pray tell, different questions. Yep. You know what I'm saying? That mm-hmm. they were asking other people, and it was really, really interesting. So it said. The most recent policy recommended that men who have sex with men wait three months after sexual contact with other men before they could donate du- uh, before they could donate blood. The policy changes eliminates deferrals and screening questions specific to men who have sex with men and women who have sex with MSM. I'm not exactly sure what S- MSM means. Um, mm, me neither. Yeah, but it brings the United States in line and other countries such as the UK and Canada, mm-hmm. um, who also have those same dumbass rules. I mean, we all know where this stems from. What is MSM? I'm really like, we I, all know like this stems from the um, the AIDS epidemic when it was really bad in the 80s, and you know a lot of homophobia was popping up because of that. Yeah, and um, discrimination, uh, and they was finding reasons to turn away people. Some nasty shit like that. I don't know what MSM is. I'm trying to find it, but it just, I don't know. Yeah. Um, yeah. I, mm. I mean, w- welcome to the, the 21st century. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I mean, and for and it's like, to me, it's like that policy just kind of always said like, oh, just gay men are just out here being like sluts. First of all, yeah. you know, people like sexually active people, a majority of them hopefully use protection. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? So, and, and again, AIDS, HIV is not a gay disease. Right. There's plenty of people out here who are heterosexual, cisgender, whatever, that are walking around HIV positive mm-hmm. or have AIDS and have been fighting and have been fighting and dealing with it for a very long time. Yes. Okay. Like, I, I don't understand the attack on gay and bi- bisexual men to be, because I look at, then I think about it. Like, okay, so if a woman is bisexual mm-hmm. and she, you know, and she, and I, I wouldn't even say, I wouldn't even say bisexual. Mm-hmm. If a woman is just like yeah. sexually fluid, mm-hmm. she has sex with whoever. She might have sex with a bisexual man. Yeah. Like, so what is, you know what I'm saying? No, I'm just, Like, what I'm is the difference? Right, I'm right there with you. I'm just, I'm not. There, just, is, there isn't one. It's just, it's a, it's a, here's the thing. It's like, lesbians aren't looked down upon as bad as gay. Absolutely. Gay men. That's, that's what that is. Yeah. That's what that is. 
I just think the policy like needs to go away completely, completely, especially now when we're just a little bit more of a sexually Fully. fluid society. Mm-hmm. People are having sex with whoever they, they want to have sex with, and they're having sex with with people however they want to identify as. Yeah. So it's like I, I don't understand. Yeah. Like just. Just, just check my blood and make it's sure it'll be good. And that's it's, it. Yeah, it's a homophobic, <laughs> discriminatory get it. rule there that they've had for a long time. Yeah. And I'm glad that it's gone. I mean, I'm mad that it took this long. That part. Um, But I'm glad that it's gone. Yeah. Especially as somebody who, myself, I love to give blood. I've never given blood. <gasps> I've never what? given. No, nope, I've never given blood. Girl, I, I think I got blood and blood blood banks up and down the East Coast. Good for you. I I because I have O negative. I think you did tell me that, and I, we yeah. had a conversation about. I need to figure. I, I be forgetting. Yeah, my doctor had told me, but when I leave the doctor's office, like mm-hmm. I'm not thinking about it. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> like I need to, I need to really um, yeah. know that for real. Mm-hmm. But yeah, mm-hmm. I'm, I'm glad they got rid of it too. Yeah. Um, yeah. I, I, so, I never understood it. Yeah. Um, so the girls need to line up and give some blood now. Seriously. Yes. Seriously. So. Yes. But then also, like, just everybody just practice safe sex. Please, like, whoever you're having sex with, mm-hmm. we don't care. Mm-hmm. Just just make sure you're practicing safe, safe sex. That like, part. Okay. You're fine. It's fine. Um. <laughs> so, yeah. Just just do that mm-hmm. for your own safety. For your own safety. That's it. Because and... there are some nasty ass people out here. Yes. With some ill intentions as yeah, well, too. So. Yeah. I don't yeah. like it. I know. Um. What else we don't like? Mm. Um. So, CNN has been dealing with an identity crisis. <laughs> I think that's the best way to explain it. Yeah. 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 Um, yep. They used to be very much left, mm-hmm. you know, very liberal, everything um, cool. And I guess Chris Lighty is just trying to switch. I keep doing that. It's okay. Um, is trying to something new. Um, so they hosted a town hall with former President Donald Trump last week, uh, literally on the eve of, I'm sorry, not the eve, on the night that he was found or um, where he had to, was ordered to pay, what was what's her name? E. Jean Carroll? E, uh, yeah, E. Jean Carroll. Yeah, yes. All that mm-hmm. money, I mean, literally was labeled as a sexual predator, like officially. Yep. Um, yeah. So mm-hmm. it was pretty bad. It was pretty bad. Um, everybody was kind of looking at CNN like, so y'all still going to host this or not? Nah? And they went through with it. And That's of crazy. course, they were embarrassed. Oh, I think I saw a clip of Anderson Cooper talk. Wait a minute. I think I saw a, a clip of Anderson Cooper trying to like, you know, address. <laughs> no, nah, I'm not playing that damn clip. Because, well, I mean, yeah, Anderson Cooper works for CNN. So he asked to, you know. Yeah. You know, you know, he has mm-hmm. to keep it cute. Um, but I don't have to keep it cute. CNN has decided that they want to be a more middle leaning, you know, middle of the road <clears throat> um, news broadcast channel. Um, I don't like it. And def- I, you know, it just doesn't make any sense. It really don't. Cause I didn't watch it. Sis didn't watch it. Hey, I refused. I just, I'm gonna be honest with y'all. I don't see it for him ever again in the office. I don't either. I really think he needs to wrap it up. Yeah. I really do. Yeah. Like he really needs to wrap it up. I think, you know, I think his uh his buddy in Florida is the one that we really need to be worried about. I don't even know if he's the one. I think somebody's gonna come all the way out of left field that we not even anticipating. You think so? I honest I honest to God. You don't I do. think Ron DeSantis is gonna I I'll say it like this. I won't be shocked if Ron DeSantis runs for um for president, but I don't think he's ready. I really don't. I don't think he's ready. Like just kind of watching, like even like different interviews. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Like I mean, well, you know, but in the same sense, I mean, we watched interviews with Donald Trump, and he was nowhere near presidential, and he got up on that stage and did his little, you right. know. And Ronda, oh God, he has. Have you ever heard Ronda since laugh? No. It mm. is. It is horrifying. No. But. I personally mm-hmm. think somebody's gonna come out of left field. We not even paying attention to. Wow, really? I honestly think they gonna hit us with a pump fake and be like, <laughs> "Bitch, you guessed it." I honestly, I think don't that. know. The only thing I think is like because Ron DeSantis is so extreme. Yeah, I think he's. A I little... think I think that might be one of the things that might be having like holding a few people off. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, because it's not like Ron DeSantis. I mean, of course he like. 
again, like when Trump was backing him, a lot of the elected politicians were like, oh yeah, Ron DeSantis, da, da, da. You don't really hear a lot of our elected, you know, officials saying like, mm-hmm. oh yeah, Ron DeSantis is great. Like they're not really talking about him. Right. Now people in Florida, like, you know, the Byron Donalds of the world mm-hmm. and things like that, like, yeah, they're over here talking about, oh yeah, Ron DeSantis, what are you doing for the state? And da, da, da. he's literally sinking y'all state like below sea level. Damn. Like, okay. Um, so I don't know. I just feel like this isn't the year for you guys to be like, Hmm, I need to hear more policies. I think this is the year you need to make a decision and you need to stand firm in it. Yeah. In terms of voting. Like, there's no gray area. I don't know what other policies you really need to hear other than like, of course, yes, abortion rights, gun control, um, you know, mass shootings, things like that. Like, yeah, taxes. Those are things that are always going to be a conversation, mm. but like what's going on the floor. Like I see so many videos on my TikTok of people like, you know, lesbian, gay yeah. tr- uh, couples moving because it's getting crazy. They still ain't, it's still not a lot of people working for these construction companies because I, of oof. Oof. that economy is about to tank. The Florida economy is about to tank, honey. Listen, and I'm going to be over here from North Carolina with my, like, oh. Mm-hmm. Mm. Well, that's what y'all get. Um, good segue, sis. <laughs> and to the next one, this is what y'all get, Florida, mm. um, because y'all voted Ron DeSantis in um, as y'all governor instead of Andrew Gillum, um, a black man oh, who, yeah. from the outside looking in, seemed like he was all the way down for Florida and uplifting y'all state to yes. higher ground. But you guys were so concerned that he was black that you wanted to get him up out of here. <laughs> all types of charges against this man. He's a drug drug fueled mm-hmm. gay man who was cheating on his wife, all that stuff, yep. yada, yada, yada. Well, all those charges, um, he's been cleared of. Thank God. Okay. His personal stuff, like I remember they said he was like found hung over in a hotel. That don't really got nothing to do with us. Listen, I think a lot of those politicians be doing all that. They have, you know, some uh kinky shit about them. Oh yeah. <laughs> Oh my God. Oh my God. Absolutely. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <sighs> you know what I'm saying? So, <laughs> mm. so all federal um, <clears throat> federal authorities um, earlier this week moved to drop all charges against the one time Democratic nominee for Florida governor. Mm-hmm. Um, federal prosecutors notified a federal judge that it wanted to dismiss the indictment filed against Gillum and his longtime associate and co defendant Sharon Letman Hicks. The move, which was the first reported by the Tallahassee Democrat, comes nearly two weeks after a jury acquitted Gillum of lying to the FBI and jurors deadlocked on other charges. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah. Yeah. So. I love that for him. I just, you know, what's what's going to be next for him? I don't know. You know, will he able be will he be able to come back from that in terms of like running for governor again? I don't know. This like, is, what's up for his political career, I guess? This is interesting. It says, during the election, DeSantis used an ongoing federal investigation into corruption at Tallah- uh, Tallahassee City Hall to pound his opponent, even though Gillum would not be charged until four years later. Wow. Wow. Um. So this is where, yo, so okay. So he removed himself from politics and public life in March 2020 after police found him in a Miami Beach hotel room, too inebriated to talk with a male who is a, who is suspected to have overdosed. Police found three bags of suspected crystal meth, but Gillum said he had too much alcohol to drink but did not do any drugs. Mm-hmm. Um, pictures later emerged showing Gillum laying on the floor in his own vomit. Ew, gross. Um, yeah, I remember that. Well, he did say that he was um that he you know is bisexual. You know, he is married, has three children, but mm-hmm. he did that he is bisexual and expressed remorse i mean so you know that could really work for him that could really work for him in the in the uh in terms of politics in florida think of all of the lgbt people that's leaving but if they stay and they vote for him i think it's too late you think damn i think florida has been ridiculously coerced now i hear you yeah. you know what I'm saying? i i don't even i don't even think unfortunately damn um, and the ha- you know, host of the happiest place on earth. I don't. I I just don't think that. Ooh, 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 I don't really ooh. think a gay politician would have any room for growth in that state. I'm I'm not optimistic about it at all. Andrew, call me. You you get Andrew Gillum and Disney on the phone, like immediately. I, I don't. You know. I don't know, sis. 
I don't know. If the mouse is if the mouse gets behind him, I don't know, sis. You know how fire that would be? Oh my God. It would be fire. Oh my God. Get him on the phone right now. Get Disney on the phone. Get Andrew Gill on the phone. Let's let's do it. No. Get it on the phone right now, please. Cause I swear to God, a black gay, a black bisexual man who's married with children. Listen, I'm gagging over the thought. Please. I don't know. I, I don't know, sis. I feel like that could be fire. I, I want it. I but I don't I don't know. I'm, I would support it. But I don't know if he would have I just don't think that he would have I don't the support. Know, I don't know, sis. I think it actually would turn some shit around. I have faith in this. I don't know. Maybe not not in the next election, maybe the one after that. There is too much damage done in that Florida water by this, this I, devil. Listen, don't sleep on the mouse. Listen. <laughs> don't sleep. Listen, y'all fuck around with Mickey if you want to. I don't want no problems. I don't Mickey. want no smoke. I don't want no, I don't all. want no smoke with Mickey in him. I don't want. <laughs> okay. I don't want. <laughs> Get the fuck. Yo. <laughs> Ma'am. Please. This is a business. Sorry. We're Go recording. Ahead. Okay. We're recording a podcast. You said Disney and Goofy, and I just I. <laughs> I'm just saying. I really okay. think I really think it could work. Disney, Andrew Gillum get together. Listen, y'all for the greater good. Disney, Disney, Ron is trying to fuck up y'all's bag. Like you know what type of person you gotta be to have beef with Disney, where you got married at. Child. You know, Ron DeSantis got married at yes. Disney. Clown shit. You fucking yes. loser. He's a clown. You're a loser. He's a clown. How do you beef with somebody that you... I'm not... Disney World? Disney World. Are you serious? And this man has kids? Oh, I feel so bad. He's really trying to He's really trying to mess, mess with the mouse. I'm telling you. Sis, I don't know. I really feel like that could work. Listen, I'm behind it. I'm behind it. I just... I Y'all already know how I feel about Florida. I have absolutely no faith in that state whatsoever but see it's besides not- miami and i don't really not pass ocean that's about it no i don't know i feel like it could work sis. disney disney mm-hmm. disney has a lot of queer coded like absolutely ca- characters and everything i don't know since i really think it could work well they been they there's a teacher that got in trouble for showing that new movie um strange world uh-huh. because it's an openly gay character right she didn't even know it and like she's getting under fire like Damn. you know what i'm saying it's just like well, 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 Damn. See, I don't know. I think it, I think it could work, sis. Listen, I think it could work. I'm all for it. I think it could work. I'm all for it. I just don't. I don't have. I have no faith in that state whatsoever. <laughs> I'm sorry. Like, there's just nothing. <laughs> there's nothing. There's just nothing. Damn. Uh, um. Speaking of giving nothing. Damn. Elon Musk literally <laughs> gave us nothing. Um, oh. which we already anticipated. Yeah. Um, when he randomly bought twitter but you know i blame all this on jack because it was fine nobody told you to sell it i don't understand um he called his bluff though he really did he called his bluff like you said you won't hear tweeting on my on my platform talking shit he did make sure you buy it he did damn i love it personally it's kind of cold I, that's kind of i love it that's kind of cold as much as i hate what, what twitter what's happening to twitter that's I, cold. I respect jack i salute you that's kind of cold um <laughs> well he's stepping down <laughs> did all that yes and now he's like i can't handle this <laughs> like no shit duh. Right. you can't handle it um and he selected a new twitter ceo and is anticipated on stepping down within a few weeks um you know he i mean he got enough racial discrimination uh Ooh, child. lawsuits at tesla he got a lot going mm-hmm. on spacex so i don't really you know whatever um so Allegedly, the new CEO is a woman. Uh, hold on, let me see if I can find her. Uh, no one could find any information on her. Yeah, I'm seeing a bunch of like you know pictures of her boobs and stuff like that. I'm just like, okay, but like, what does oh she do? Oh my god. Um, yeah. I, okay, I'm sorry. Yeah. So her name is Linda. Linda Yacarno. 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 Yacarino. Yacar. Mm-hmm. Okay. Yep. Um. Okay. So yeah. That's, she's a, you know, whatever. Mm, yeah. Um, <laughs> she's actually the head of advertising sales for NBC Universal, and she has agreed to step in as Twitter CEO. Um, yeah. So, cool. I guess. Yeah, whatever. 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 Um, congrats. Congrats. Girl, so, girl boss it or whatever. Yay. Yeah. Yeah. Hopefully she 
can I mean I haven't had any issues with Twitter. You know, I don't I never understood the whole like why you took away the blue checks. I never got that. Like what I don't was, I hope she brings that back. Like what was the reason? What was the reason? Because Elon Musk is an idiot and he wanted to be show his show his power by making people pay for that blue check. I'm not paying for no blue check. Uh, it's not that deep. I don't care how famous I get. Yeah. I'm sorry. It was weird. But okay, shout out to Linda. Yeah, go ahead, Linda girl. Um, mm-hmm. that's really it for politics and business and yeah. all that stuff that we love to talk about here on Her Rats and Lipsticks. Yay! So yeah, um, now we get into the you know mm-hmm. all that stuff. Yep. So sis sent me an article earlier. Oh. Um, I guess they got tired of people missing, uh, and they got tired of the ancestors. Like, <laughs> okay, I should not be laughing at this. Well. <laughs> yeah. They got tired of the ancestors <laughs> <laughs> taking victims, and uh, so Lake Lanier looks like it's going to be off limits to swimmers uh, for this summer. Y'all know Lake Lanier is that that lake in Georgia where a, a numerous amount of people die every year at like this literally. lake. Yes, and if you don't know, Lake Lanier is uh, it used to be an, an old town uh, full of black people. Um, and they ran everybody out. Some people died in there, and they just put water right over the town. They even moved the houses and stuff. So it's like graves down there and everything. Oh my god! Just thinking about it, like literally, gives me the like, I just I can't. And people be jumping in that water, and they be snatching the hell out of them. Like, got him. Listen, the ancestors said they was getting it back in blood either way. And that's just what it's gonna be. Listen. Um. Well, yep. So they're not allowing beachgoers to go into the water this year. Margaritaville at Lanier Islands announced that they are keeping the beach open. Yeah. Um, but not allowing anyone to go into the water. They've actually installed a fence about a foot from the shoreline so that beachgoers can only let the water lap at their feet. Oh man. Wow. Yeah. Um mm-hmm. Okay, now there's some now hit this is the funny part. So there's some people are like, this is ridiculous. Mm-hmm. Right? Mm-hmm. To put a fence about a beach just makes no sense. That's just one paddle boarder said. Like, okay, like Yep. It's not our fault that you decided to move to Georgia, like where there's, you know, go to Savannah somewhere and go to the water. Like, yeah. um, but of course, obviously for safety reasons. So management at the beach said, after can- uh, careful consideration, we have decided to no longer offer, <laughs> offer swimming in the lake area. While we understand this may be disappointing for some, we believe it's the right decision to maintain a safe environment for all our guests to enjoy and will allow us to put up, put added focus on other parts of the park to offer a better overall experience to all our water park guests. Mm, I love it. Okay. Mm-hmm. Um, literally a 20-year-old man drowned about 30 yards offshore over Memorial Day weekend last year. Um, let's see. I'm just reading. This is the list that they are like. Um, yeah. Like, there's, there's plenty of people that have, like, died, like, recently mm-hmm. um, at that lake. So, every like, year. It's a, it's a huge list of people who die every year. I like it. And I, doesn't it cost, like, if, doesn't it cost companies, like, if someone dies there, does it cost them, like, money to, like, have to, have to deal with that? I don't know. So, I mean, that could be also another reason why Margaritaville was like, we not having nobody out here. Because I don't got time to pay for no extra charges for you mugs dying. Right, and lawsuits and, and stuff. Yeah, I got to pay for funerals and stuff. No. Not like y'all finding them down there. But, um, God damn. Well, <laughs> I'm just saying, like. Child, you go down there and a skeleton grab your ankle. Oh, look at it. Oh, my God. <laughs> Not Pirates of the Caribbean at the fucking lake. There is yeah. there is a documentary on Netflix, like, right now about Lake Lanier. Wait, no, no. Not Netflix. I think it's Hulu. Okay, I didn't even need to watch the documentary to know I wasn't going over near it. But if you just needed a little bit more information. <laughs> I, you know, I actually went there one time. And when I was there, I could feel. I didn't get in the lake because I could feel. So I could Energy. Feel, I could feel it. I could feel it. And I was like, I'm not, they're like, you're not getting in the water. I said, hell no. Hell no. And this is before I even knew all them people had, you know, what they did with that area. I was like, no, nah, I'm, not, I'm not vibing with it. I did not like the way it felt over there. The ancestors was like, "Don't get in the water, girl." Anytime I, I have was to, like, "Okay." <laughs> anytime I gotta go to Atlanta for uh for work and I gotta pass, like, like I'll be like, "I don't even want to pass a sign." Like, I don't Listen, want, I don't want no parts of it because you can feel it. I I'm, think, I think the blacks can feel it. I don't know if the whites can feel it, but the blacks can feel that I'm energy. Good. And I'm good too, honey. That's like then get out. What's the the music they use to get out? Oh, I'm telling you. That's what I heard. Like, uh, uh-uh, uh, yeah, I don't want no parts of it. Well, so if you think about going to Lake Lanier. 
don't. No. There's just too many other beaches around that you can go to. Plenty, like, like there are places, so many more lakes. It's really right. Like Lake Norman is open. You know, you know, people seem to ha- enjoy it. They got to come all the way from Georgia to. to um, oh yeah, go know. to Myrtle Beach. I mean, I don't know. Ew. Listen, I'm just giving other options. Child, we got these little church mints. Well, yeah. Sierra got these little church I, lo- I love them. Okay. Okay. I love them. So yeah, I got I got several in my bag. Okay, but don't go to Myrtle Beach though. Listen, I'm just giving other options. Like you ain't gonna catch me there. I'm not going to Myrtle Beach either. So just don't no. If I if if you see me in Myrtle Beach, I was kidnapped. Yeah, something's wrong. Something's wrong. I might be there for work. That's about it. Mm-mm. But I don't. I refuse. Mm-mm. I would never. I would never do that to myself. Mm-mm. Let's go to Myrtle Beach. Someone. Someone I was talking to was like, we should go to Myrtle Beach for a week, and I said, for what? For what? I'm not trying to get robbed. I'd much rather <laughs> run a cabin at Lake Norman right at <laughs> right at seventy seven. Absolutely not. No. No, ma'am. Have you ever been to Virginia Beach? Uh, isn't that where they have Black Bike Week at, or used to? I think they have one there. They got one in Myrtle Beach. I think I have I never been, been to Vir- Virginia Beach. Don't don't quote me though. I don't know. I have never been. Yeah. Like Brandon be like, oh, let's go to Virginia Beach. I be like, mm. I'm not. Honestly, unless the beach is has clear water, I'm not getting in the water. Oh, sorry. I'm one of those people. Oh, I want to see what's down there. I feel that. You know what I'm saying? I feel that. You know what I'm saying? I feel that. I can't. I can't mess around and, and something sting me. And I, what happened? Well, I don't know because I can't see. This that <laughs> you, it could be anything. That's that's very true. <laughs> that's how I feel about it. I love the water. I love the beach. I'm more so a pool girl. Mm-hmm. Like I'll go to the beach and I like to just look cute or whatever. I'll get in the water, get wet, and I'm get right out. Oh, for sure. I'm not hanging out in there. Yeah, I'm not mm. just gonna stand in the water. I'm not doing that. Mm-mm. Yeah, Mm-mm. and if I do, it's like it got to like here. Yeah. Thank you. Great opening, grand closing. Like Naomi going. The water and she be all the way out there what you know deep in her neck my mom used to my mom be swimming like my mom used to be mm, out there like nah, like a damn it. fish me my no. dad and Simone be like okay girl no i'm not out there okay i'm at hip hip waist maybe and that's pushing it and yeah and i might dip down and get my body wet so i can get a nice tan in the sun it's giving mid thigh i'm not getting it i don't do if i can't see in the water i'm not getting in the water i get that and i mean that I get that. For sure. Anyway, let's move forward. All right. We only got a few more things. Mm-hmm. Like, so, um, random. Yeah. Jonathan Majors. Oh, no. Is allegedly dating Megan Good. And the internet is having a fit. As they should be, because why are they including her in this mess? Why is she including herself in this mess? They're saying it's a PR tactic. Um,. I don't know why they felt like it would be a good idea for us, for him to now be with a black woman. I don't want her getting beat up by him. (laughs) (laughs) I'm just, I mean, you know what I'm saying? So reports are saying that like allegedly she'd been standing by him the whole time with these allegations It's giving he, she was the one he was texting in the car. Cause I mean, this is real quick. I know her ex-husband is probably somewhere crying and sick. Like why? (laughs) Why, Lord? Well, he don't want to file for divorce. Oh shit. Mm. Anyway, damn. So that guard. But yeah. Um. I mean, I don't like it. I don't like it. Okay. For her. And it's like, why is you already in another relationship? You are literally like in the middle. Like your career is about to be over. That part. You're in court. You got court cases coming up. The last thing you need to be worried about is having a bay, because she ain't gonna be around when your ass get in, get thrown in jail. But here's the thing. I don't really care either way. I'm kind of over the whole John the Major situation, honestly, yeah. because again, I'm not saying he ain't do it. Because okay, right. But I find it real odd that we ain't heard shit about no court case yet. We ain't heard a damn thing. Allegedly, he had a hearing, literally, like, last week. This was, like, the case of the year. Mm-hmm. And we we ain't hear no update about it other than the fact that he's dating Megan Good. I don't know. I don't trust it. It's something. It's just. It's something off about the situation. It's, it's something a PR off. tactic. I'm no, no, no. I'm talking about it's something off about the whole John that Major situation. It's a PR tactic. It's a PR tactic. I don't think they really together. I'm telling you, I really don't think they together. And I think I'm telling you, I think this is what I think. I think they were like, okay, Jonathan, you need to be seen with the black woman to kind of like ease the flames of you know this of what's going on because you know 
That's what I think. I think they. I think it's a. Uh, you know, she, Megan ain't doing nothing right now. She look good all the time, but she. Ain't, this not no shade. She's fine as hell, but she ain't doing nothing. Yeah, Harlem. We got a. We got a writer strike right now. So right. So you know, so it was like throw Megan over there. You know, she ain't doing nothing. Damn. You know, and I think they using her as like a. You know. Look, he, look, he dates. He, he likes the black women. See. Even, even though he beat up this white woman, he loves black women. You, like that's what it looks like to me. I want to know. I just want to know what's going on with the case. Like I'm just like, I don't know. That's what my eyes. I'm like, so we. It's just no updates. Where's my, the video? That that's what I'm saying. Did he really beat her up? I, it's something. Something is off about this. But I still, case. I still don't trust him either. I still don't trust him. But I really feel like it's a PR tactic. Is something I really think that they was like we cannot have two good black men out here getting all the uh, getting all the credit, Jonathan Majors and uh, Michael B. Jordan. I don't know, sis. One of them had to go. I don't know, sis. It's some. I don't know. I don't know, sis. I don't. I don't. I don't know, sis. I don't know. I don't know until until. Yeah, I don't know. Now I feel you. I really. I don't want to see a video because you know I don't want to see nobody get beat up. But I'm like also I'm like I don't. If there's a video, at least can we? I mean, I don't know, and I can't. Can try. we at least get a video of them getting in the cab, like something? <laughs> yeah, you're right. We don't. You know, we don't have we don't nothing. Have, we, we just, well, we do have video of her. Well, there was there were stills of her, like from a video, like a CCTV camera of her, like going to the club that same night with some with another friend. Of After her. you got beat up, you went to the club. That's I don't. This is what I'm saying. I don't know what's going. on. You get on. beat up, and you go to the club. Listen, that's what I'm saying. I don't know. I I mean. I don't know. If I stub my toe, for, my night is over. I'm not about to get beat up and go to the club. I don't know, child. I don't. If I have know. a hangnail, my night is done. I don't know. I don't. This is the thing about like when it's like. I don't like it. When it's no. What is that on my finger? I don't. This is hard, sis, because it's like there's no footage. And granted, you don't want to see footage. Right. And you want to believe the, you want to believe the women. And I believe I believe her. Until yeah, but how, but here's the thing: how can they prove without video that he didn't hit her? That's I'm I'm just I'm there's just it's just something off about this case. And right now it just seems like them. Listen, yeah, it's but, some, something's off. Like I said, I think they threw Megan Good in there as a PR tactic. Yeah, I don't think they really dating each other. Yeah, cause like I don't know. I don't know. Anyways, Anywho. um, what else we got? Um, so Janelle Monet decided to bear it all mm-hmm. for the world to see. I guess she wanted to kind of save Grace after that hideous Met Gala outfit. Um, it wasn't that bad. It was horrifying. Oh man, it was not it. No, we have seen Janelle Monet look forty five times more better than that. That was just not it. Um, but she's not someone to wear like a regular gown. Type we have of thing. literally seen her wear regular gowns at the Oscars. But this ain't the Oscars. This is the Met. We got to show up and be camp, and that was very camp. Anyway, as you were, she decided to just bear it all. She did. Um, she decided to show off her exquisite breasts, and the internet had a field day with it, mm-hmm. um, especially the men's, mm-hmm. um, because I guess Janelle Monae, well, not I guess, like, you know, when Janelle Monae first came out, she was very suit, very suited up, suited and booted. Liter- literally suited. Okay. Literally suited. Had no idea, sis had a shape, had no clue yeah. what she had going on. And slowly but surely, she became a little more liberated, um, you know, get off my areola type situation. Mm-hmm. Um, and now we have seen her areolas. And people don't know how to act. So <sighs> her breasts have been up and down my timeline since then. Literally, like they're great. They are. They're nice boobs. You know, they're they're great boobs. Yeah. Um, good for her. You know, some people have been talking about how they're great. Then some are like, you know, I can't believe that she's doing this. And this just kind of goes based off what we were talking about earlier with abortion restrictions and just women being policed. Mm-hmm. I'm actually not shocked that Janelle Monet has become. Um, or like is kind of like living her best liberated life. Mm-hmm. I love it for her. If you kind of pay attention to her journey and you know where she's been as an artist um, and her sexual journey, she did come out as pansexual, <laughs> things mm-hmm. like that. I'm really not surprised. Yeah. Um, but I will say this, like, especially for the men who are saying like there's no mystery um anymore to, you know, women like Janelle Monet, we've seen her breasts, um, you know, Rihanna, whatever, whatever, whatever. Again. Let women do what they want to do. Mm-hmm. Um, 
half the time I'm just like, you know, y'all sitting here watching porn. What is the difference? What is there's no mystery there either. There's absolutely no <laughs> no mystery to Pornhub. So uh, you weren't gonna see Janelle Monet's titties anyway, right, ever, so, ever. So just be not in person. You know what I mean? You're not gonna. You weren't gonna see them tits in person. Just be gracious that she gave you a sneak peek. Yeah, like you should, yeah. I mean, I, I'm not understanding. I mean, personally, she announced that she's putting out a new um album. I think it's called The Art of Pleasure. Mm-hmm. So it's all like goes yeah. in with the campaign. Yeah. Like I think she's living her best, best, best pansexual liberated life. I love that for her. I love it. Yeah. I wish more women would be a little bit more free with their bodies. Do what you got to do. Yeah. Like, you know, um, you want to show off your tits, show off your tits. Show you want to walk around with a thong, walk around with a thong. That's your business. That's, like, it really is your business. It really is. Yeah, so do what sh- makes you happy. Shout out to her. I just hope the album's good. It's, I been, a, it's been a couple <clears throat> years. I ain't never listened to any of her albums. I'm very, very slow to music, y'all. Very, very slow to music. I'm going to get there, though. You listen to the singles? Yeah. Or saying, I get that. Yeah. I've only listened to like I didn't really like her first album, like, you know, it didn't hit me until um she put out uh not yoga. Was it yoga? What's it no? Prime time with uh uh um uh, what's his name? Jadena? No, Miguel. Oh, okay. That's when I kinda really started paying attention to John Bonet mm-hmm. a little bit, you know, like listen to her album. So shout out to the boobs. Love it. We love them. Go ahead, girl. And that's that. Yeah. Um so, mm-hmm. Beyonce, yeah, Beyonce's launched Renaissance. Yes, Act she, Two, Act One. I don't know about all that, but the tour is going on. Yeah, the tour. The Renaissance World Tour has kicked off in uh, Stockholm, Sweden, and mm. the crowd was not giving. And someone said that like the European crowds are just not. They and I could well, well, Brussels looked lit. They were she the last one of video. Okay, Brussels they was they was turned up, but Sweden. F. F. I know she ain't never going back there no more. Damn. Yeah. Yeah. Damn. The crowd was not given. But the visuals, I'm gagged. Oof. I cannot wait. Have you went on her website to see the like the photo diary? No, I haven't. Go on, like if you just type in Beyonce.com, literally oh. it's just a photo diary. It's amazing. So she announced something today too. She put an announcement. We don't know what it is, but she's got something coming up today too, uh coming out. And all the girls are speculating that it is a hair care line. I hope not. <laughs> God damn! Wait a minute. Let me go. Let me go to her page. Hold on. Um, she not Beyonce popular. Child, take me to her page. Beyonce, Beyonce. Sorry, y'all. I, clearly, I cannot type. So she announced today. She wrote, "How many of y'all knew my first job was sweeping hair in my mama's salon? Destiny's Child got our start by performing for clients while they were getting their hair done." I was exposed to so many different kinds of entrepreneurial women in her salon. I saw firsthand how the ways we we nurture and celebrate hair can directly impact our souls. I watched her heal and be of service to so many women. Having learned so much on my hair journey, I've always dreamed of carrying on her legacy. I can't wait for you to experience what I've been creating. Love, B. Sounds like a hair care line. I just think this is a very random time to announce that. I think she's preparing us for the next act. I don't know what no, it is. No, no, because she kept mentioning hair and souls and Yeah, but it's it's we like this is a very like random time. Like she's in the middle of a tour and all of a sudden like, oh, by the way. I don't know. I just I don't know. Beyonce's very strategic. Beyonce, send me that uh somebody send me that blue ivy shampoo, <laughs> whatever you want to call it. Something. Ivy studs. <laughs> right. Maybe a Sir Hair Care. I don't know. Like, I don't know. I don't know. But I, to me, it seems like, I mean, it's giving hair care. I can't wait to see what it is. I hope I can afford it because I couldn't afford much of that Ivy Park, girl. I, listen, listen, I done spent all my money on these damn tickets yeah, for, to see, see where Ivy Park Okay, goes, hit so. me with a $20 shampoo. I can do that. Ooh. It better be a twenty dollars shampoo in an Aussie size bottle. Like Come that's on. what we're yes. not doing. Yeah, I don't want to. Y'all, y'all really got the game messed up with these conditioners being like this. Talking yeah. about fifteen dollars. Yeah, all the Taraji's line is good. I like it. Is it? I like it. A I just lot. don't like the branding. I like it. I mean, so I it's, like, it smells so good. Does it? It does. It never st- It just doesn't stand out to me when I see it. I kind of like just walk past yeah, it. Yeah. No, I like it. Okay, I have to try. I have to try something. And I used it on my locks. So. Oh. Mm-hmm. Okay, I have to try something. Yeah, I liked it. It smells really good. You said you feel the type of way about the Renaissance tour. 
Oh no, that's what I'm saying. I'm talking about people not like showing love. Like there was so much footage of people in Sweden just like like sitting down. Oh, weird. I mean, like the whole section was just sitting down. How do you sit down for that album? Just for Renaissance alone. Like I don't get it. It's no way possible. I don't get it. I don't. Mm-mm. And I'm, but I'm like, I'm, first of all, I'm really excited. I, I am. I can't wait till she lands in the states. And I and, and like I've been like, listen, I've been watching a whole bunch of videos. Okay, I've watched <clears> none. <throat> I've deter. I every time I, I just keep scrolling. Oh no, I'm watching. All I refuse. That shit. I, I don't refuse. I want to see everything. I'm, nope. I'm I'm slowly becoming a hive member. Okay. None, nonetheless, though, there are people. There are like some of like her team or whatever they're going to be like in the crowd giving random people upgrades to go to club renaissance so I, now i'm stressed out about my goddamn outfit right because if they stop me and say do you want to go down to club renaissance bitch don't play with me yes i do yes i do girl so i'm stressed now i'm stressed too because i had piece one and it didn't fit because of these girls yeah it's okay girl i'm gonna figure it out yeah you can, we, we still got time we still got time, but I can't wait for her ass to land into the states. I'm so I'm so hyped. Listen, I was in here until like 10:30 last night cooking. You bring my soul. What you was cooking? Uh, pepper steak and rice. That's what's up. Yeah, the rice was giving mashed potatoes. Listen. This is why I don't cook. Anyway, wait, the rice. Wait. Yeah, you heard what I said. A little mush, let's give it a little mush mouth. One. <laughs> 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 Child. I hate cooking. I'm excited about Renaissance. Um, just come to the States because clearly Europe is just not giving. It's not giving, girl. Um, shout out to the girls in the audience that was very hyped to see Julius. Yeah. Did you see that video? She yeah. was looking like, like yeah. I mean, I can go right. if y'all just want to see Julius. Like, he was like, what are y'all doing? That's That has to be crazy for him, too. Like, these people really know who I am. <laughs> I mean. Yeah. Yeah. Anyways. Yep. What else we got on this list, sis? Well, we got two more things. So, like, okay, so Gabrielle Union mm-hmm. um, made a little bit of a, um, I guess she got the people upset, um, just kind of letting her in, letting us in on how her and her beautiful husband split the bills. I am slowly but slowly but surely becoming oddly obsessed with Dwayne Wade because he just, he just like he bathes in cocoa butter, and I just <laughs> ugh, that's something about him. Anyway, so I'm mm-hmm. just gonna play this clip. He was she was on a podcast, um, Black Millionaires, or no, I don't think that's the name of the podcast. It can't be, but um, Black Millionaires did um, post about it, and this is what she had to say. Hold on a second. Did you develop that first sense of security? In this household, we split everything 50-50. but in the other households that each of us have to support. It puts this, there's always this like gorilla on your back that it is like, you better work, bitch. You better work, bitch, you better work. You know, you, you gonna sleep in? Mm. You know, somebody might not eat. This clip sent the internet ablaze. And first Seriously. of a lot of the like, do you know about the sprinkle, sprinkle lady? No. You're not on that side of TikTok? Sprinkle, sprinkle lady. Where she'd be like, she just be, you know, it's like, you know, that feminist type of like uh, talk, like a date high value men, men pay for everything type of content. Oh, I probably, probably passed it. Yeah. So like, this is like, there's been discourse on my uh, FYP on um, TikTok about this. And there are a lot of like women who are like, See, this is the problem. You know, like she's splitting half and she's splitting, she's paying 50% of the bills with a with a multimillionaire. She shouldn't be paying for that. She shouldn't be paying for nothing because she's a, and it's like what the f- I think a lot of people have lost what's what's going on here. Mm. And a lot of y'all are uh chronically online. That's the take. You're chronically online if you think there aren't way more couples out here splitting 50-50. Listen. So they sprinkle, sprinkle lady be like, you need to, you need to like, you should date. I'll just send you some TikToks yeah. of hers. But she's like, your man should be paying for everything or whatever, which turns the relationship completely transactional. Transactional. Now, if you want to prostitute for housing, that's fine. I mean, and it gives like, it gives a man or even, you know, whoever is paying the majority of the bills, it gives them like a sense of control. And then that's a whole nother situation. Like then it, you're always going to have a problem if that's the case. Like I never really like, I grew up, I grew up in, I grew up in a two parent household mm-hmm. and I watched both my parents pay the bills. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, 
You know what I'm saying? There That's was all I need to hear, sis. You know what I'm saying? I watched both my parents pay the bills, whether it was a JC Penny bill or a light bill. The bills were always getting paid by one or the other. Mm-hmm. Like I never really under I never really grasped that concept. Like I don't think there's anything wrong with like you know being spoiled by your man, but I just personally okay. And I know some the sprinkle sprinkle girl is gonna be mad at me for this one. <laughs> <laughs> Go ahead, sis. I just think it's very bold of women. I I Mm -hmm. personally feel like this. I really Mm -hmm. think it's just bold of women. Mm -hmm. Yeah. To ask a man. Yeah. To just pay for all your shit. Yes. And then when they ask you for the bare minimum, you got a problem. Like you sitting here like that whole like that whole conversation of like, what do you bring to the table? Like. Cut that shit out. So that sprinkle, sprinkle lady has the book title. I bring nothing to the table. That is ins- That's like okay. But here's the that's, that's like, insanity. But there's like so many women, women on like on on the TikTok. Like oh my god, like yeah, I don't. I actually, I want, I want my man to pay for everything. I don't want to do anything. That's you weird want- to me. That is weird. That's just weird to me. I agree, sis. I agree a hundred percent, bruh. Like you, listen. There's there's okay. There's nothing wrong with wanting your partner to take care of you. Right. Absolutely nothing wrong with that. But I think like when as a woman, like, you have to realize that women fought for you to be able to have oh access for you to be able to vote, go. to have your own bank account, to to, to be go. able to make your own decisions on your body. You know what I'm saying? Go. Like you it's really weird, like you're falling into, and I think like this is how we can kind of like we we talk about like topics that happen online, yeah. and maybe they turn into like political takes, right? Because that could mm, that that turns into someone being a conservative who's like, well, yeah, I, I believe that the government should be controlling women's bodies. Like all of those talking points can can lead you to a road of like, you know what I'm saying? Like, yeah, so I, I think you really gotta be careful when you're like listening to these things and think like strategically and logically. And analytically about what you're saying and what yeah. you're actually because to have a man pay for everything for you and you to have no control of anything that's a mess. There that's are wild. there are women in abusive situations where a man pays for everything. Do you think they wish they was experiencing that shit? Absolutely yeah, not. No. Make sure you put your fucking name on that at least. If you married Girl. to that, put your name on some shit. Pay for some things. And there's nothing wrong. I just, I never, I just will never understand it. Mm-hmm. I'll never get it. Like Brandon and I, not to give y'all too much of an insight on my relationship, but like me and Brandon have many conversations. Like you know, because I know it's like, oh, pay for my nails, da 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 da. No, I pay for my own nails. That's a luxury that I have mm. that I award myself every single month because I work hard. Yeah, I work hard. So if I just want, and it's for me, it's like it's almost alone time. It's a luxury to sit there and talk to another woman and get my nails done or whatever. I don't need him to pay for my hair. Mm-hmm. I don't need him to pay for my nails, my toes. I don't need him to pay for none of that. Now, if he wants, that's the thing. I don't think it should be a requ. I personally don't mm-hmm. think it should be a requirement. Like spoiling yeah. is not a requirement it should be a luxury yeah you're busting your ass so if your man's like you know and spoiling doesn't always have to just be what, what did you say transactional it's yep. like you know what babe i know you've had a long ass day at work i'll make dinner tonight you know what i know that you did all the laundry so i'll fold it little things like that like i i don't know it's just you know i like that point that you made i think a lot of people don't that is such a that's gonna have to be the clip out sis because i don't think people realize like in, in terms of like spoiling, damn, yeah. the video. Fuck. Oh. <laughs> Fucking up my vibe. <laughs> um, like when we're uh, talking about like these kinds of like these topics and, and women want, you know, the man to pay for everything. I think they're forgetting that there are other ways for your partner to show love and appreciation yes. to you outside of money. Yeah. And it really, it's really sad that a lot of women think like, oh, yeah, well, mm-hmm. if he loved me so much... He got to pay for all of this. Like, yeah, it's it, and personally, and maybe that's just me, but as, as somebody who's independent, I like being able to pay for my own shit. <laughs> Sometimes put, I want to have my own shit to my own name. Exactly. And there's nothing wrong with that either. Exactly. Like, exactly. It's just really weird. Like, I, I just really want you guys to think analytically and logically about 
what people are saying because there are so many opinions on the internet and, yeah. pe- and people are and people with very polarizing personalities are mm-hmm. getting really big mm-hmm. platforms mm. and while you might agree with some of that stuff don't fall into the trap of think you know that thinking because that pipeline to like all to the alt-right is crazy mm. <laughs> it's a journey you're not trying to go down you like, don't want to be there you look up one day and next thing you know you said i you i hate women too and you a woman right that part it gets weird it does i just i never really like i always watch such the celebrities um you know for their birthdays or whatever and i watch the gifts that they give like i know what's the name swiss beach just purchased a car for alicia she looked like she hated and it. she was like and she still hasn't wanted to get it because it's like does she really need that? And it's ugly. If Offset buys Cardi B another Birkin bag, I mean, how many goddamn Birkin bags do you really need? Right. I that that's just me. Like mm-hmm. I I don't know. I guess everybody's love language is different. You know that. But I like I said it. If I said it once, I said it a thousand times. That city girl mentality. It's. I don't think it's gonna last you very long. It's like not. I really don't because at the end of the day, you you already have a lot of men out here that already feel like you know they're already like this with their shit. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? So mm-hmm. it's like, I, I, I just I just think it's really bold of women to just go to a man who just because just because he makes two hundred fifty thousand dollars a year for you to expect and if he just wants to give it to you, that's perfectly fine. But for you to like be on a first and y'all be like bold with it. First, second date, like, oh, now first date, obviously you should pay for it. Right. But what is wrong with you taking your man out every now and then? I don't know. It's just really weird. He though. got a raise at work and like you were expecting, he was like, I want to go out and celebrate and he's paying for it. It's just really weird, yo. Like, yeah. I don't know. I just, I think y'all should just be very, very careful mm. about what, and think about what you're asking for. That part. You know? Uh-uh. Just think about it. Just sit on it. Just ruminate. And if you still want your man to pay for everything. That's your business. And you don't have no bills. You have nothing in your house. And so he can kick you out whenever he, whenever you piss him off. That's fine. You know what? That's fine too. That's fine. Right. Just know that that's going to come with. That's a consequence of that, having nothing in your name in the house. All them Birkin bags. Yeah. All them watches. That, all them dinners. That car. Yes. Run them, them, them keys too. Yep. That's fine though. If that's what you want. If that's what you want sis. Have at it. Best of luck to you. Have at it. May the odds be ever in your favor. Have at it. Okay. Like, my man bought me a house, but is your name on the deed? Is, okay. Or did he purchase a house and is allowing you to live in it? Child, I gotta fucking go. You feel me? I gotta go. Cause like, oh, he gave you the keys. Where is the deed? I got. To Where go. is the deed? I got to go. Just saying. Woo. Anyway, last but not least, I told my sis I wanted to have a debate with her because she tweeted something oh, the other day. Man. Um, I didn't even tell her what the debate was, right? I have no idea what this is about. I didn't even tell her the debate. Um, but she tweeted something the other day about the song Beauty by Drew Hill. <laughs> um, and she <laughs> Wow. Is this what we're doing? She said that it's literally like the sexiest song of all time. And I said it's the greatest love song of all the time. The greatest love song of all time. I did. And I want to debate that. Okay. Um, yeah. So I'm going to say like, if you said it was like the sexiest song of all time, uh-huh. I think that LL Cool J's Hey Lover is one of the sex is is the sexiest song of all time. No. It's not. Yeah, it is. If we're talking about sexy songs, we cannot it will not be a modern artist. The answer is Marvin Gaye. What's the sexiest song? I want I, you. Absolutely it is. Absolutely it is. I can But I, the greatest love song of all time, it's Beauty by Drew Hill. I stand on that. Do do I need to pull out lyrics? I'll pull up lyrics. No, 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 no. I mean, you can. I just, I disagree. So why do you feel like it's Hey Lover? So if we're talking about sexiest songs, like, I just think, like, it's just a vibe. Like, it's just a vibe you get when you listen to Hey Lover. First of all, like, it's not even LL Cool J song, if we're going to be honest. It's Boys to Men song. Because Boys to Men, like, it's, the way, the way that they're just melodic, just tones just float on that beat is essential. I can literally put that, that song called My Shuffle it's gonna be a repeat for about four or five. Times. Oh, listen, I listen, and I love "Hey Lover." It's Girl. my that's my jam. It's and it's a close second. I feel you, huh. sis. I feel you, sis. But "Beauty" is on my "Do Not Disturb" playlist. Don't get it twisted. Right it's on there, but like, right, no. Right. But like, let's, let's get into like the first verse. Okay, this is from "Beauty" by Drew Hill. Okay, it didn't take much time to think about, but I didn't want to move too fast because I knew that when I saw you again, that I wouldn't want to let you pass. Get the okay. Mm -hmm. okay 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 because my eyes have seen the glory in the coming of your smile 
So I swear, if you ever come around again, please stay for a while. Let me repeat that again. Because my eyes have seen the glory and the coming of your smile. I heard it. Is that not beautiful? That is the most, that is the great, that's so great. Really, sis? Listen, I love beauty. I love beauty. Don't get it twisted. Like, I love it. I really do. But I just don't think that it, for me, it's it's not, it's not. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Okay. Okay. Because you are wonderful. You're wonderful. I'm just dying to make you see anything you want inside your heart. You can find right here inside of me. My God. Sis, you tweaking. No. You tweaking. If I had to go, like, I know we hate Brian McKnight. I know we hate him right now. Damn. He... I know we hate him right now. I know we do. However, mm-hmm. one of the greatest love songs of all time is Love of My Life. And, and actually, I would put that in second place. For me, it's my latest greatest inspiration by fucking Teddy Pendergrass. Okay. If we're going to talk about it. The like, greatest love songs of all time. I'm t- like... Teddy Pendergrass, my latest and greatest inspiration. Okay. I hear you. This, okay. I hear you. This just. I hear you. More beautiful than the Mona Lisa. Oh. Like, don't. I hear you. Don't play with it. I hear you. And Brian and I love of my life. Like, mm-mm. Sorry. I'm sorry, sis. I'm still. I'm still. I'm, it's it's I'm still, still beauty for you? It's still beauty for me. I. I. I so I saw that there was, <laughs> I saw that there was a report that they were saying like Miguel's "Adorn" is like the greatest R and B song of all time. Hmm. I don't know, like I'm. Let me find Who, that report. Who said that? It was some type of report about Miguel and Adorn. Like they did some type of mm-hmm. study on it, and I was like, huh. Oh. I mean, now what were the other songs that they? I did don't the know. Study on? I'm so about to see saying. if I can find. Hold on, let me see okay. if I can find like. I mean, it's, you know, it's cool. Great gowns, beautiful gowns. Yeah, like, um, let me see something. Because they literally said something about it. And I was like, huh. Yeah, I don't know. Uh... Yeah, so, they, so um, Adorn is the greatest love song of the twenty of the 2010s. I thought that was very, very interesting. Well, Beauty came out like 98 or something like that. So I'll, I'll let them have that. Mm. But this is me putting Beauty by Drew Hill in the bucket as the greatest love song of all time. And I know this is about to piss some of y'all off, but y'all can go ahead. I want to see what y'all say. Sherelle says, what's your number one? Um, you pick one. I know you're a music head. You can pick one. Of greatest love song of all time? Of all time. I'm actually going to say, from what I said, like, A Love of My Life by Brian McKnight. Okay. All right. Pass all the bullshit he got going on right now. <laughs> Pass all that. <laughs> Just, like, listen to... <laughs> Love about life by Brian McKnight. Pass all that bullshit. We don't like him, but okay. So I, I want to know. I need y'all. I need y'all to light the comments up. Yeah, because I need to know what your what your what you consider the greatest love song of all time. Mm. It's wrong because it's Beauty by Drew Hill. I don't. But, I just don't think that that's like because no. This is why I say because it's not like it's not it's nothing sexual. This that song it's is stalking. Like, no, it's, so is Hey Lover too. But you it's know. it's literally like this woman is so beautiful. She has taken my breath away. I can't wait to see her. I know that like whatever she needs is in me. Like that's some beautiful shit, mm. girl. You don't know what you're talking about. I, <laughs> you, don't, you don't know I, shit. Okay. <laughs> I had just wanted to debate her about that because I saw it, like she was sweet. I was like, I'm gonna save this for another time. Like I just girl, I was like. I ain't even gonna go there right now. I'm just saying. I'm I think it. it's the greatest love song of. I mean, the first time I ever heard it, I was like 12, and I was like, "It is a great song." I like, was like, I'm not, in my head, I was like, "This is the greatest love song of all time." I've been on this. That's been my. You have it. You yeah. And I mean it. Oh yeah. All right. Uh, is that it for the show? Sis? That's it for the show. That is it. Let's see. That's it. If we, uh, I doubt it, because y'all don't even like to talk to us no more. Wow. Let's see if we got any. Uh, See now I'm singing uh, Brian McKnight. Yeah, no. we don't even got no new reviews because y'all lame as hell. What? Damn, lame. Two thumbs down. That's what I give y'all. <laughs> Dead. That was that's rough. Oh uh, well, that's rough. Well, you know what's rough? Not having any reviews. Yeah. So you need to yeah. get it together yeah. and give us a review so that we can read it next week on the show. Exactly. That's it's, really it. It's really it. Okay. Yep. Um, please be sure to follow us on all of our social medias. We're on Twitter at Head Rap Pop. We're on Instagram. 
mm, excuse me, at Hair Wraps and Lipsticks. Check out our Facebook page, Hair Wraps and Lipsticks, the podcast. Go to our website, www.hairwrapsandlipsticks.com, where you get crew necks and t-shirts that are for sale, but not on sale. Um, if you would have left a review, we would have read it on the air, you know, a five-star review, but you didn't do that, so there's that. Um, buy some merch. Um, yeah, buy some merch. That's it. And lastly, we're on a bunch of streaming platforms. I don't know why I just did that. It's okay. <laughs> Spotify, SoundCloud, Stitcher, Google Play, Apple Podcasts, iHeartRadio, YouTube, TikTok, and Facebook. Yep. All right, sis. What's your joke? I actually do not have a joke this week. Is it because you're disappointed that nobody left a review? I get it. Well, that. <laughs> if I was already at a 20, now I'm at like a 5. Damn. So, okay. Damn. Like, I, I had a day. So I didn't even get a chance to prepare a joke. Damn. So I'll just have two next week. That's all. You don't have to do that. No, no. no. I feel like it's only right. No. And uh, I don't think anyone's like, oh, you know. I think so. I don't think they I actually, you Actually, you know that they will be like, what's up? <laughs> so, you know. That's it. We'll see y'all next week. Bye. Peace. Basils. Okay. Oh. <laughs> <laughs>